poetry can be a charming thing, but also a creepy thing. So here is five poems based off creepypastas. Clockwork. Tick. 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 The menacing woman chimes. Tick. 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 I've heard it a thousand times. Tock. 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 One eye is of a clock. Tock. 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 It's me who she will stalk. Tick. Tock. Tick. Tock. She's lost her mind. The ticks she chimed. The clock in her eye. The father who died. A fragmented brain. The others she's slain. She's totally insane. And the last word you'll hear, as you tremble in fear, is the last thing you'll hear. Your time is up. Come, follow me. Do you want to see your dead family? Well, this is easy. Why don't you come follow me? Follow, follow through this game. Follow, follow, I'm calling your name. Follow, follow, not just a game. Follow, follow, now you can see. Follow, follow, come follow me. How about we play a game of Pokemon Red? No, they are not all in your head. Just remember to be careful or you might wind up dead. Since I told you this story, return the favor and please come follow me. Oh, that haunting melody. She heard that melody so long ago, something so simple yet different. Almost a soothing symphony, that was the start, but now it hurts. That song claws at her head, as if begging to be let out. No medicine helps, no one understands. It's the song she screams, but they just pass it off, as the tantrums of a child. Blood curling head splitting. She couldn't take it anymore, so she ran away. Heaving and running to the place that the melody was coming from, a graveyard on a cliff where all the friends she caught lived. They danced and sang as soon as she came by, taking all the pain she ever felt. She cried and she laughed, so happy to be with them, the only ones who'd listen to a sad tale. They coaxed her, fed her, and made her smile. Then they danced with her and pushed her off the cliff. The Unescapable Jeffrey Woods I'll use my knife to end your life. Stay for a while. I'll make you smile. My face is hideous. Huh, that's ridiculous. You seem a little sleepy. He, why are you weeping? People wish I was dead, but I love to see red. Now not another peep, lay down, you should sleep. I see the darkness of my soul, and the fading light, struggling to live in the toxicity of my nature. I feel violent, and yet happy to hurt. I'm so happy to kill your loved ones, your dreams, your future, and most of all, you. My pain isn't limited to me, but I shall spread it to you. Go to sleep, hush now young one. Don't make a peep, just close your eyes, and go to sleep. I'll save you soon in this world, you can't fear. Look out your window, I'm already here. Ben drowned. Unseen and dressed in green. Torture is his favorite game. He's the virus in your computer, the one glitching your game. Electronic and demonic, lonely and insane. What is his weakness? It's all in his name. He was drowned, he died, came back again in the form of a character in his favorite game. Sworn to take revenge, Matt was his rise to fame, the cursed game of Zelda. Cleverbot is his domain. Never forget, the counter resets. I'm glad you did that. Well guys, that was five 
creepypasta based poems um, by varying artists, they're all credited in the description below. Let me know what you thought of that, actually. I actually rather enjoyed reading these. It's something different um, and still something creepy. But it's pretty, pretty interesting to see the amount of different things that people come up with. But yeah, if you like this video, leave a like. If you dislike it, dislike it. Subscribe to this channel, and if you do, hit the bell to get notified. I upload every Sunday and occasionally throughout the week. You can share this video around to give your friends a scare. You can join my Discord, the link to do so is in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.